Why, hello there. You look well. Let me guess, new hairstyle? No, new shoes. You finally handled that rash. Well, whatever it is, you look great. Uh -huh. And speaking of great things, it's time for Smoke News, starting with The Tube. It's the start of the week. You've just sprinted and wrestled past numerous commuters, Hunger Games style, just in time to catch your train. Good times. Only for it to stall for one hour. Sad times. That's right. The Bakerloo line stalled in the Queen's Park area at 5.36 and did not start moving again until 6.52. And I don't think I need to remind you of the tube's fabulous heating system. London Underground apologised to passengers and even offered them a refund. They can do that? Apparently so. London Underground director Peter McNaught... How much do we just know is Matt Nugget? So much. ...claimed it was due to a signal failure in the Queen's Park area that caused severe delays on the Bakerloo line that morning. And you wonder why that smiling is illegal on the tube. Mm. Now, we're getting ever so close to that much needed Christmas break. Oh, the days are coming. Simmer oh, down, simmer coming. down. As well as being a great chance to rest, it's also the best way to ravage that student loan until it's nothing but a distant memory. But don't get upset because our good friends over at the Hufferton Post have come up with five ways to make sure your student loan survives this Christmas. Reese, hit it. Number one, student discount. Your student discount is your lifeline at Christmas. Use it wherever you can when buying presents online and on the high street, with many shops offering at least a 10% discount. Don't be shy to ask at the till and try not to let the discount tempt you into spending more. And don't forget that free cheeseburger at McDonald's, but let that one just be for you. Number two, extra earnings. Offer to work overtime in your part-time job. Your boss will love you and you'll be able to afford to go to that extra Christmas party at your mate's house. Try forgiving those expensive takeaways for a month and cooking and freezing meals instead. Buying your own ingredients and preparing this way is cost effective and it's tasty too. Is it? Anyway, number three, credit card deals. Use a 0% credit card for buying presents, presents online to avoid temptation in stores. Many credit cards have cashback deals so you can earn money back on your purchases. Using one card for your present means that you can keep track of your budget and you'll be covered by section 75 if you're buying any items over 100 pounds. Number four, banking benefits. Banks off offer all sorts of tempting student deals. So take advantage of a 0% overdraft facility or be prepared to change your bank if you're not offered a good deal. Use your overdraft for an unexpected items like a surprise guest or chocolates for your tutor Teacher's and be sure to plan to pay it off sensibly over time. And number five, you're sure to have made more friends than you can count at university and this can be tricky when it comes to present buying. Agree with your group that you'll do a secret Santa between friends and set a low budget. Why not research the latest present wrapping trends on Pinterest and really impress your mates with your newfound skills. It'll attract all the attention and it won't matter if the gift only costs five pounds. Alternatively, you could just have no mates. It's up to you. Moving on, the University of East London has banned a preacher who says homosexuality is a filthy, shameless disease. The preacher has been banned from appearing to speak at the University of East London. A spokesman for the university said we cannot offer a public platform to speakers known to publicise and disseminate homophobic views. These go against our equality policies and more importantly, UEL's core values. Next up, most students are no stranger to the beautiful bean brew that is coffee. But some might say that it's missing something. Uh, milk? No. Sugar? No. Uh, cinnamon? Close. Butter. How is that even Yes, close? fitness junkies claim that this paleo-friendly starts today, also known as Bulletproof, has numerous health benefits, including increasing energy and keeping you full for longer. But does it actually taste any good? And fitness junkies aren't the only ones that has been sweeping the food world with a massive chat claiming that it gives you a prolonged energy hit, sharpens your focus and keeps you feeling full. Don't knock it. And finally, UCL are looking for participants to take part in an experiment investigating recreational drug use. Do we really need to sell this any further? Well, let's humour them. They're looking for participants to take part in a study at the UCL Clinic Psychopharmacology. The experiment investigates recreational drug use, reward processing and perception. The experiment lasts approximately two hours and you'll be paid between £20 and £25 for your time. In order to take part, you must be aged 18 to 55. More students? Speak fluent English. More students? Drink alcohol regularly. A lot of students? Have not been diagnosed with an alcoholic use disorder. Some students? Have tried one illicit drug at least once in your life. Uh, no comment. And consuming illicit drugs regularly now also is acceptable because, you know, we don't judge. Uh -oh. During the experiment, you will fill in a few questionnaires and complete five computer tasks. You will also be asked to provide a urine sample. If you are interested in taking part, please email will.lawn.12 at ucl.ac.uk. Please email your telephone number so that he can be called to go through eligibility cr criteria before taking part in the experiment. And that, friends, has been what we call smoke news. Take care and good night.